For project one, I'm taking a basket that I thrifted a few weeks ago and I'm going to put this piece of burlap that I'm cutting. I just eyeballed it. Um, I didn't want it really big. I just wanted something small on there. So I'm using one of the JRV stencils on there. I think it's one of the crockery stencils. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to hot glue it onto the front. I make sure it's centered. And after I hot glue it, I pull some of the little threads out and kind of um, fray it on the sides. For project two, I am taking this pot that I got. I think it's a canning pot that I got at Goodwill. And I paid $2.99, I think was one tag. I was going to get the sticker off, so I used my Goo Gone on there. And I'm using a lot of the transfers that I'm using in this video is from last year's IOD release. And I want to use this with the bear. I was going to do the deer, but I ended up wanting to do the bear. I'm trying to make this kind of man cavey. So I did the bear, and then I end up doing some of the pine cone. And then some of these leaves here to give it some color. And I got me a tree from Hobby Lobby that has the pine cones and is a bigger tree. I got it half off this last week. And I stocked up on all my bottle brush trees and everything. So I didn't like the height that it was in there. So I ended up putting some paper that I had in the bottom. And this is a weighted tree at the bottom. So I love the way this turned out. For project three, I'm using this little enamel cup that I thrifted for $1.99. And I'm using one of last year's IOD release. And it was a little bird. I end up, uh, I was going to glue that into the bottom so I ended up getting a little wood piece and I glued it to the bottom of the tree to make it a little bit taller and then I ended up not gluing the um, tree to the bottom of the cup so project four I'm using this riser that I bought at the Dollar General for 90% off back at the end of spring and the summer sale that they have and I'm using two coats of Waverly Snow White to try to cover up that pink. And again, I'm using one of the IOD transfers from last year. I had so many left over from that set that I didn't want to buy any more of the new. Um, I still have a bunch of the new IOD that they released this year that I will be using in some of the other little projects coming up. I absolutely love this red bird. Um, I tried to do this on a picture frame last year and just didn't get around to it. So I figured this would be so pretty up against the white. And nothing to me screams Christmas like a red bird and this pretty little wreath. For project five, I'm using a cutting board that I made um, a few years ago. It just never did sell, and I don't think I ever finished it, to be honest. Um, 
I wanted to use this for Christmas because I needed to get some of my cutting boards out of my way. And yes, I left the holes in the bottom. I know some people want you to fill them in. I like the detail. That's just me. Not everybody is that way. Um, I wanted to use this deer and to use some of the floral that I got at the dollar store last year. They actually have some really good Christmas floral. I had to get some of the glitter off. It was sticking. Um, but I did three coats of that color of moss from Miss Lillian's. And now I'm using one of the new IOD transfers. These transfers are so easy to use. And you need to always seal them. Unless you're doing them like on like a mirror or something. I don't seal them. I ended up painting the back of this later on. I just didn't do it in the video. Um, I sealed mine with liquid patina because it's all I had on, on hand. But I absolutely love the way this turned out. For project six, I wanted to use another little cutting board that I thrifted last year. And I'm using another transfer on here. That was kind of the idea for this video. I just wanted some quick flips for my upcoming craft show that I have on November 14th, I believe. Um, I'm, some, I'm trying to get as much Christmas that I can get ready and then I'm planning on doing a bunch of wood projects. I used another one of the new transfers that they had just come out with and it kind of wanted to stick with my paint but I ended up getting it to stick right after I let it dry a little bit longer. You don't, you need to let your paint cure before you try putting the transfers on there otherwise they will not stick and they'll stay to the uh, adhesive paper. So here I'm going in with white wax to lighten the red up and then I wipe it back um, and then I add a little bit of twine just to add some more detail. For project seven, I have these, they're not Fire King, they're just little milk glass bowls and I have several of them. Some of them I've kept just plain. To use and then I was like well this will be a really cute idea to put trees in so here's how they turned out for project eight another tree that I got from Hobby Lobby and I have this mason jar that does not have a top to it I thought this would be a really cute idea to put the little tree with the burlap bag for project nine I have these two that I got in a state sale for like a dollar. And I wanted to use one of the new IOD transfers. And I wanted to fill in the little hole. I did this on both of them. So it was kind of hard to find one that would fit this right. So some of the yellow that was behind it stayed sticking out. But I was okay with it after I got the transfer on there. And then I sealed it with some liquid patina. So on the next one, I painted it red. I didn't really know where I was going with this. I was just kind of playing around today. And I'm using Marquee by DIY. And I do two full coats on here of that. And then I wanted to use the little vintage Santa. This is probably one I might end up keeping. I'm not sure because I decorate with a lot of vintage Christmas. And I end up white waxing it just to give it a little bit more. Lighten up that red just a little bit to go with the aged look. The last project for project 10. I'm using this old cutting board 
I think it's a Pioneer Woman cutting board that I got. I thrifted from Goodwill. And I hadn't really figured out what I wanted to do. And then I got the idea to use this Christmas tree from last year's IOD release. And I hadn't had a really an idea to what to use this for. I didn't have a frame that it fit in. But it fit this cutting board perfectly. And this will be really cute stalled in like a kitchen. Or just in your living room or wherever. And it goes with that vintage look that I love. Thank you guys for watching. That's all my projects. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys.